Uh, good morning. Uh, now, uh, in today's class, uh, we will learn about region of convergence. That is ROC and its properties. So, in the last class, we have studied about Z transforms and have we have just uh, mentioned about ROC. Now, in, uh, in today, we will go into more details of um, ROC and its properties. So, region of convergence. We already studied that uh, in, in uh, Fourier transforms, uh, they do not converge for all sequences. Uh, that is, there are various sequences like finite sequence, infinite sequence, etc. So, this uh, Fourier transform, it is said that uh, they do not converge for all type of sequences. That is, infinite sum may not always be finite. So, similarly, that is similar to Fourier transform, is the transform also does not converge for all uh, types of sequences or for all values of z okay so the set of values of z for which the z transform converges is called region of converges now the fourier transform of a discrete sequence say x of n exists if the sum that is summation from n from minus infinity to plus infinity more or less of x of n converges however is a transform of uh, the discrete sequence x of n is just the fourier transform of the sequence x of n r raised to minus n. The z transform therefore exists or converges if and only if x of z is equal to summation from n from minus infinity to plus infinity modulus of this one x of n r raised to minus n less than infinity. So this leads to the final condition uh, for the existence of z transform. What is it? Summation from n from minus infinity to plus infinity modulus of x of n. This is taken separately. Then modulus of z raised to minus n less than infinity. So here you have to study what is region of convergence and what is the condition for the existence of z transform. This is the condition. Okay. So, uh, as already told in the last class, the region of convergence or ROC consists of a ring in the Z plane. That is, ROC is usually represented by a ring in the Z plane, sim uh, similar to this one. That is, real axis, imaginary axis and the shaded portion actually represents the region of convergence and this, this plane is, will be the Z plane. So, ROC is represented by a ring in the Z plane. In special cases, the inner radius of the ring may include the origin and the outer radius may extend to infinity. Now, if ROC includes unit circle, that is modulus of Z equal to 1, which is actually represents a unit circle, then Fourier transform will converge. This is a condition for the ROC to exist in the case of Fourier transform. Now, here we brief some of the properties of region of convergence or ROC. The properties actually depends on the nature of the signal. Suppose that the signal has finite amplitude and that is a transform is a rational function. Then the properties of ROC are as follows. That is in this session the properties of ROC is described in detail. Okay. The first property. See ROC of X is it. Consists of a ring in the Z plane centered about the origin. This is the first property. As already said, it is represented by a ring in the Z plane centered about the origin. With, uh, that is with the center at the origin then uh, the convergence depends only on radius r and not on the angle omega in some cases inner boundary extends inward to the origin that is roc origin of convergence will be in the form of a disk in some other cases outer boundary extends outward to infinity and in such cases roc will be in the exterior of the circle so this is uh, the general representation for the roc as already said here you have to just study all these three all these points okay no need of proving it now uh, the second property the Fourier transform of a discrete sequence x of n uh, converges absolutely if and only if roc of z transform includes the unit circle this uh, then next one uh, roc does not contain any poles at a pole x of z is infinite and therefore does not converge 
then another point if x of n is a finite duration sequence that is if x of n is a finite duration discrete sequence then how will be the ROC ROC is the entire z plane except possibly at z equal to 0 and z tending z equal to infinity that is as modulus of z tends to 0 all the terms that involve negative powers of z becomes unbounded and even as, as modulus of z tends to infinity all terms uh, with the positive powers of z becomes unbounded then this is the uh, important properties all these uh, 5 6 and all that is if uh, x of n that is if the given discrete sequence is a right-sided sequence right-sided sequence means sequence which is non-zero if and only if n greater than or equal to zero that's the definition for a right-sided sequence okay now if the given sequence is right-sided sequence then what happens to roc roc will extend outward from the outermost finite pole in xz possibly including z equal to infinity as follows this is the representation so you will be given different sequences and you have to say how roc looks like and we have to represent it uh, in figure also okay now next case if the given x of n is a left sided sequence left sided sequence means sequence which is non zero if and only if n less than or equal to minus 1 here we have talked about right sided sequence whereas here we are talking about left sided sequence and for that left sided sequence roc extends inward from the innermost finite pole in xz possibly including z equal to zero as follows that is here it is spreading outside whereas here it is spreading into into z equal to zero that is towards the origin so this is the representation for roc of a uh, left sided sequence this is the representation for roc of a right sided sequence then uh, suppose that if it is a two-sided sequence that is if the dis given discrete sequence is a two-sided sequence uh, that is a sequence which extends up to infinity in both positive and negative directions then ROC will be in the form of a ring in the set plane bounded on the interior and exterior by poles as follows this is the representation next ROC must be a connected region this is a direct consequence of the first property uh, which is specifies the three possible shapes of ROC it is useful for evaluating the existence of z transform when x of n is a sum of two sequences that is one left sided sequence and right sided sequence so you have studied about uh, three sequences that is left sided sequence right sided sequence and uh, uh, two sided sequence how ROC will look like with the figure so these here uh, these are the properties of ROC described in detail now here we are just briefing uh, all the things that we have just learned that is uh, definition as already mentioned roc origin of convergence is a range of complex variable z in the z plane the z transformation of the signal is finite or convergent so roc represents those values this is the important one set of values of z for which x of z has a finite value here x of z it is written like this okay now these are the properties at a glance the properties that we have already studied uh, here it is written just in one sentence so you can uh, uh, this is just a uh, briefly written roc does not include any pole for right side sequence roc will be outside the circle in a set plane for left side sequence roc will be inside the circle in a set plane for stability roc includes unit circle in a set plane for two-sided sequence or both-sided sequence, ROC is a ring in the Z plane. For finite duration signal, ROC is the entire Z plane. So this, why I have given this, you can write according to the mark. Uh, so if uh, mark is, uh, it is actually asked as a short question and all, you can brief, you can write this, the definition as well as the properties. But uh, if it is a long mark question, you can discuss all these properties in detail. Okay. So here uh, today we will are discussed about what is ROC and how ROC will look like in various sequences and also about its pictorial representation. Okay for today this is enough. Thank you.